Let's talk right wingers. There's been a lot of attention on right wing for United. Mason Greenwood, Anthony, Jaden Sancho, Ganacho, Forson for five minutes. There is a lot. I mean, I'm mad, even. There is, it's just a chaotic, chaotic position. Now, there's a player that keeps getting linked with United, and I don't know if it's the fans linking them and projecting and hoping, or if there's actually any serious links. But I'm going to do a scout report on him anyway, because I think he could do a job for us uh, in that position. He's only 22, and he has the potential to grow into a real beast of a player. And that is Elise, Michael Elise. She's a left-footed right winger, as is the tradition now. Uh, and he's displayed a level of creativity and confidence and match winning um, that I think absolutely suits Manchester United player. Injuries have been a bit of a problem with Elise. Um, yet in only nine games, he managed to beat his previous tally of five, uh, scoring six in 11 Premier League games. Now, his creativity has been a big part of his game. Um, he's also got three assists in the league as well, which puts him you know, on course for a goal involvement a game. Not quite there yet, but he's up there. He's in the 95th percentile for wingers for assists per night, which you know is bloody good. And I think he's got that sort of cocky confidence that I think you need to be a Manchester United player. In his first season with Palace, 26 league appearances, he was able to score his first goal at 19. He improved on this in his second season. He racked up 37 appearances. And at 21, 118 days, he became the youngest player in Premier League history to assist three goals from open play in a single game as Palace beat Leeds 5-1. I would argue one of his biggest, biggest strengths is his ability to carry the ball, which you go, for a winger, isn't that like, shouldn't that be on the tin? It isn't for everybody. Uh, I think he's dribbling his top draw. It's, uh, he dribbles through pressure. He gets out his man. I think it's just what Manchester United need. Um, and he loves to put a cross in. And when I think about how a player would fit in with United. How would he fit in with those around him? When I look at Olise and I look at Hoyland, I go, do you know what? I, I like what I see. You'll often see him cut inside and his first thought is deliver a dangerous cross. He bends one in that sort of dips low right out of forward's feet. You can almost close your eyes and picture Rasmus Hoyland getting onto the end of those. A winger that's actually putting crosses into the box. And even when he's not putting crosses into the box, he can have a shot. And I'm not talking about the Anthony sort of conversion sort of shots that he has, where he's going for a two-pointer over the bar. I'm talking shots on target, which is a bit alien to us, I know. But I feel like the more you think about that role as a right winger at United, um... I think it's a pretty simple one to understand, maybe a difficult one to execute, but it's pretty straightforward. Santony, Santony, yes, let's start calling them that. Sancho and Anthony, Santony, fucking deadly duo. They've failed in that position in recent times. So there is absolutely a pathway for a potential star to make that role his own. I'm not sure it's going to be Ahmad. And I think Garnacho's probably a little bit better off the, the left. The thing you're going to be asking for Elise to do is to be able to link up with the players around him and maybe be responsible for finding Rasmus Hoyland in the pitch, in the centre of the pitch. And I think he could do that really, really well. Take on, beat your man, and deliver it for Hoyland. Now, he's going to cost you some money. I think buying anybody from the Premier League, you're getting your ass handed to you, unfortunately. That's just become the way of the world. I think 60 million, I'd be very happy paying that. 70 million... Starts to get a little bit on the pricey side, but he's probably worth it. The question is, can you take a risk or even afford that fee anymore? I mean, every sign is a risk, but I think when you're dealing with an investment in a player, you know, absolutely anything can happen to him at the end of the day. It's a lot of money. And can United really be justifying those signings? I would have more confidence in this board and this current system the new system that's coming in place to be able to negotiate a better deal than, you know, Wu Wah and, and whatever else we've had. You can leave it up to your own. I mean, let me know in the comments. Do you think he is the sort of player that you'd be happy to spend 70 million on? You hope that there's room for negotiation. I mean, 
I would snap their arm off for 40, 50. I just don't think that they're going to deal at that sort of price. Listen, for me, Elise is a United player in the wrong kit. And if you go back to what made us successful, Sir Alex Ferguson would see a player doing what he's done in this league and his age, and he does not let him go anywhere else. If you want to get back being successful, you do what made you successful in the past. And you buy from the Premier League. Let me know your thoughts. Can he cut it? Is he a United player? And how much? See you in the next one. Hey, thank you for watching the video. If you are new around these parts, then don't forget to subscribe. My channel is proudly supported by my community on Patreon. If you'd like to get a little bit of extra content, a Discord group, meetups, five-a-side games, weekly podcasts, behind the scenes, and even an occasional bit of transfer news as and when I get it, then for the price of a pint, you can show your appreciation for the content that we make and get some goodies for doing so as well. Check the link in the description or click the button right here. You'll also find all of my socials here too if you want to follow me on any of those platforms. Nice one.